Good afternoon YouTube. Back out on Dartmoor, or as uh, Scott would call it, Fartmoor, with his frogs. We've got one less frog out with us tonight. Yes. Yeah. I'm with Ross, but we've ditched Usain Bolt. He's uh, he's not out with us tonight. The slowest man alive, Scotty G. So we are uh, aiming to camp on Sheep's Tour tonight. So we're just doing a little kind of circular walk around Borough Tour. I'm a little bit out of breath because we're walking uphill. Scott will be jealous because I've just seen uh, two willies. Not the, obviously, the, the willy willy. The uh, ice cream van. Scott is partial to an ice cream. He might be partial to a willy, I don't know. But uh, he will be jealous because I've just seen two. So we're on our way to find two abandoned buildings which are just up this path. And we're not sure where we're going to be honest, but. Well, I'm just following you. Ross is following me. Yeah. Which is a bad idea in itself. And we think that is Sharper Tour up there? Uh, I think it's Lever Tour. Lever Tour. And Sharper Tour. I'm trying to. Over that way. And we've got. Sheep's Tour's there, but. Sheep's Tour in the distance behind that big tree. And then I'm not sure if you can make out Burrator Reservoir. Uh, and glistening in the sun. Tree. Glistening in the sun. It is beautiful. Less of me talking. I'll bring you back when we find these abandoned buildings. We can't find the abandoned buildings. I'm not sure where they are. I did come up with my cousin once, Sean. Shout out to Sean. And he showed me them, but it was in the dark and I can't remember where they are. So we are heading up there to Sheepsaw. That is going to be our home tonight. I can see two people, two people up there already in the middle there. Ross, I've got a few beers tonight. For us to have. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Well, nice. I think we've got. I've got some um, fireball in my bag. Good. In I've got the bag. rest of that bottle as well. Yeah. So that's in the bag. I was so... going to pick up some more beers when I went to shop as well. But... Oh, don't you worry. We're covered for beers. We've got. We've got about eight in my bag. We are going to have. That's all of my weight. Sensational sunset. Oh, sunset yes. Like I'd love to camp in those trees over there, like a hammock camp. I've got a hammock and I've never used it. I don't think you're allowed though in that, those woods, are you? Are they really going to know? Possibly not. Leave no trace, isn't it? Oh, there we go, Scott. He's back. <laughs> He's moved to a different location. He definitely wants you to come out. He's on me. Um, so for the last few weeks, I've been buying a lot of kit to try and make everything a bit lighter. So my pack is pretty light now. It's probably about nine kilo. But I then bring this about four kilos of beer, whiskey, coke. Should we camp in there? We've got a ready-made shelter, look. Yeah. Something about creepy about woods, isn't there? Not sure if you can see it in the camera, but there's a cross sheep store. That's one random, I've never seen that before. Look at that view. It does feel like a summer's day. And it's only the start of April. Onwards Ross, onwards. We've got beer to drink. That was tough, wasn't it Ross? Ah, you know how unfit you are. You struggle to get up sheep saw. But it's worth it when you look at the view. There are so many people camping up here. Look at that view. Someone there. Someone over there. And then two or three people camping over there as well. But you can see why this is a decent place to camp because the views the 360 that view so we are struggling to find a pitch on sheep store it would appear everybody is out camping tonight we've seen about six tents up already and we are now 
well, desperately trying to find a pitch somewhere. There he is, look. I'd love it if he falls down whilst he's recording. He's recording me as I'm recording him. Disappointing that we've had to come down from the top. And this is going to be our view tonight. It's not too bad, but I'd rather have been at the top. You can just about see Plymouth in the distance. And there's the reservoir. So I'm going to head over to that green pasture over there. And hopefully we'll be able to find a place to pitch our tent. Beautiful. Yes, we didn't get our high spot, but we've got a relatively decent pitch, although we are on a kind of path where everyone's walking past us, but that will die down later. Still quite a few people at the top. Right in the middle there is where I had my first wild camp, and that's where we were intending to stay tonight, but we couldn't because someone's already there. Right, let's look at the tents. Ross is in his Lanshan 2, he's nearly all set up, he's got to get his sleeping bag I guess and his pillow, nice looking tent. I am in the 3FUL Taji 2, I've got the Helinox ground chair, my Goodman's radio which will come in handy later on. Inside I have the Flextail gear um, pillow. Uh, sleep mat is the Fermarest Neo Air X Lite. Uh, this is the Sierra Designs uh, Nitro uh, down quilt. It's good because it has little hand pockets here so you can wrap the, the uh, quilt around you. You can put your head in that bit, that'll keep you warm. And if anybody wants a um, ultralight pack, this is a great bag. It's the Mountain Smith Zerk 40. And honestly, it's a cracking bit of kit. 700 grams, weighs nothing. Great, love it. Shout out to Super Sparrow water bottles. Uh, I'm trying this out tonight. They've sent me uh, a couple of water bottles to try out. Uh, I do have a discount code for them. Uh, I think it's West Country 10. That will get you 10% off any of the water bottles. MSR uh, wind burner, food in that one. And then we just got a couple of beers to have between us. So we've got six IPAs, which are a variety of um, ones from Morrison's. We've got half a bottle of um, Fireball whiskey and some Coke. And that's why my bag was so heavy. I was lugging it up the, the tour. So we are gonna settle down and watch the sun go down. It is a beautiful evening. You can water's glistening. Just make out the mast over at Princetown. Right, first beer. Northern Monk Uprising. We've got the music on. 80s. Can't be a bit of 80s. Come on Ross, get your first beer down here. He's doing his little videography bits. Take it forever. Scott might join us. He's just called us and said he's on Dartmoor somewhere. So we might have a visitor a little bit later. But look at that. Not me. Love it. 
Right, we're gonna get on the beers and a bit of whiskey. Might bring you back a bit later. You sit in the middle of place. Cheers, Ross. Cheers, Ash. Right, we're two beers down. Well, I am anyway. Ross is having a coffee now, I think. We were just discussing about how camping is probably the best thing we do. Like, I play football, I run, but you never really forget about your stresses in life. But when you come out camping, it's just like everything else doesn't matter. And you forget about it, you forget about your work stresses, your, your kids fighting and trying to strangle each other. You forget about it all, mainly because I'm not looking after them, but um, yeah, it's just amazing how just nothing else really matters when you're out here. All that matters is that you're out here, you've got those views. We are three or four beers in now, having a good time. You probably can't see anything on the GoPro, but what a night music in the background, we've got some time lapses on the go, or night lapses. You can see all the twinkling lights of Plymouth and Cornwall in the distance. It's good isn't it Ross? Mm. Yeah, lovely. Good morning YouTube. God, I feel rough. We drank way too much alcohol last night and uh, I'm suffering. It's pretty chilly this morning. I've seen a few people walk past us, walking their dogs and stuff. It's about seven o'clock. It's very windy and it's pretty cold. Ross is still in his tent. I think he might be asleep. Actually, I can hear him. He's awake. I'm probably going to end this video now. Uh, there's not much to see on the way back. Uh, we're parked pretty much at the bottom of this uh, tour. So, um, thanks YouTube, and I will catch you on the next one. Thank you.